Okay, just coming to settle. Maybe just setting an intention that we're going to do some mindfulness practices, passion practices, the real sense of just nurturing. The intention of being able to nurture ourselves this evening, the motivation about how we look after ourselves, how it can benefit us and it benefits others too. So maybe just getting comfortable, taking a big breath in. As you breathe in, maybe just stretching up. And as you breathe out, just allowing the belly and chest to soften, the shoulders to drop, just keeping a bit of strength in the spine. Maybe just having an alert posture, which just allows our mind to know that we're doing practice here. And then just bring your attention to the breath. Can you aware of the breath as it comes and goes? And if it's okay for you, maybe just lengthen the in out breath slightly. So they're about the same length as each other. And then possibly counting to three or four on the in breath. Three or four on the out breath. And saying words like, I know I'm breathing in, I know I'm breathing out. Just keeping our attention on the regulation of the breath, the counting of the words. And if the mind wanders as the minds do, just coming back to the breath and the words. It wanders again, coming back. Each time the mind wanders, just coming back. So just regulating the breath, maybe like lengthening it slightly. So the in and the out breath are about the same. And possibly counting to three or four in breath. Three or four the out breath. Or saying words like, I know I'm breathing in, I know I'm breathing out. And in doing that, we maybe give the mind space for thoughts to start settling. So we're not pushing away thoughts, not trying to get rid of them, but maybe allowing them to slow slightly, maybe space between the thoughts. Also knowing if this thought seems to speed up, that's okay. Just how you're experiencing it this moment in time. And then the mind wanders, coming back to the breath, coming back to the words. Maybe letting go of controlling the breath, the words, or counting. Letting the breath just come back to its natural rhythm. Just following the breath. Maybe bring your attention to the belly, the chest, the nose, or maybe the whole breath. Just allowing the body to breathe. So not regulating the breath or controlling it. Just allowing the body to breathe. Just following the breath. Maybe becoming aware where the space between the breaths, space between the in-breath and the out-breath, and the out-breath and the in-breath.
So just bring your awareness deeply to the out breath. We're just allowing the body to breathe itself, but just being aware, particularly the out breath. Notice how the body feels each time you breathe out. Maybe there's a slight sense of relaxation in the body. Maybe a sense of the awareness dropping into the body. The mind can be in the body. So the body gives into the ground. Maybe the mind can just relax and go into the body. And then just bring your attention to the lower body. As you go, that focus on the breath. Just becoming aware of the lower body, noting the points of contact. And the body's Touches a chair, the floor. That sense of body being held by the ground, by gravity. So I'm just expanding your awareness out. So just becoming aware of the sensations in the whole body. Just noticing how the body is at this moment in time. Just being curious. So not wanting to change sensations, get rid of them. Focus on a particular area. Just being curious, maybe noticing how many sensations tend to come and go. We just let them be. And then maybe just identifying maybe an uncomfortable sensation, strong sensation within the body, or maybe there's an emotion that comes up that causes us discomfort. And just holding this in mind, the emotion, that place in the body, bringing the attention there. And then with the breath, just saying soften. So breathe into the area, breathe into the emotion. And breathing out, just softening around it. Again, we're not wanting to change it, we're not wanting it to be different, just softening with each breath. Maybe just saying to yourself, soften, soften, soften. Be aware of that sensation, a light touch, that emotion. And then just using the breath, breathing into it, breathing out, and saying soften, soften. Not trying to get rid of it, force it away, but just softening around it. Bring all that tension around the sensation, the emotion. Tension that developed as the mind's body is trying to get rid of whatever the discomfort is. Breathe out and soften. And then soothing. So just bringing a wish. Thought, a way of being like we would soothe a child, a stressed child. So just soothe. Maybe saying the word soothe. Soothe. Maybe we can put our hands over our hearts, hold our hand, ourselves a cuddle, or maybe just putting a hand over an area that is painful, that is, there's discomfort. You know, whatever's soothing for yourself. I'm just saying those words soothe. Soothe. If you can just bring that sense of the soothing that we might give somebody else, a child. Soothe. Again, we're not forcing it away, pushing it away. But we're just soothing it. Soothe. Soothe. 
soothing sense of just soothing that discomfort. Placing salve on it. Soothe. And then just allow it to be, maybe saying to ourselves, allow, allow. Just allow it to be as it is. I'm giving it undue attention, softening and soothing. Just allow it to be. Just letting it go. What was the impression of tension, physical tension around this discomfort? Just allowing it to be. Allow. Allow. Maybe say to yourself, soften, soothe, allow, soften, soothe, allow, soften, soothe, allow, soften, soothe. Allow. Maybe just letting go of your tension on a particular emotion or area of the body. Allow your hands relax in the lap or you can keep them somewhere to give yourself comfort. Just going to rest the mind a moment before we move on to the next practice. Again, just allowing the mind to rest. Allowing thoughts, emotions, sensations to come and go. Or getting caught up in thinking. And when the mind gets carried away with thinking, as our minds do, just using the breath to come back to the present. So not with that real focus that we had at the beginning on the breath. We put all our attention on it. Just a really gentle focus. So we still keep an awareness of all the sensations, the thoughts, emotions, all the sensory input. But you know, it's just letting the breath anchor us to the present. Like the way to betray drinks. Just to put attention on the drinks to make sure he doesn't spill them, but also to be aware of everything around. Keeping that balance. Just in mind the present. Just letting thoughts come and go, like clouds moving across the sky. And sensations, emotions, all the sensory input just to come and go. Not getting caught up in thinking, just allowing them to be. When you do find you're caught up in thinking, then just bring yourself back to the present with a breath. Where just that awareness of having the mind wandering is part of mindfulness. And then just bring to mind a place feel safe for you, safe place, a comforting place. Maybe it's somewhere you know. Maybe it's completely made up. Maybe bringing a few places together. But just bringing to mind a place that feels safe, warm, and comforting. You might picture it or imagine it, or just sense it, whether it works for you. Place could be outside, indoors, 
better not in a really confined space like I'm talking to here. Just a space, safe, comforting, warm for you. And in this place, it's welcoming, comforting, warm. What can you see? It might just be shapes or colours, but what can you see? Is the moon? Colours on there, shapes. Is it daylight or nighttime? Just be aware of what you can see in this place that's safe and welcoming. Just there for you. you see in this place? Just to find wonder, just going back to this place, the safe and welcoming place. What can you see? Can you hear? Maybe the sound of birds singing, maybe the sound of water or music. What can you hear in this place? A safe place, this welcoming place, warm place. Is there just for you? A safe place. What can you hear? Can you hear in this place? And what can you feel in the safe, warm, welcoming place? Maybe there's wind against the skin, or sun against the skin. Maybe there's carpet or grass or sand, or water around the feet. What can you feel? Being on a safe and welcoming place. And when we're in this place, it's welcoming, it's warm and comforting. What do you feel within the body? Maybe there's sensations in the belly and the chest. So you can just relax and be in this place that's welcoming, safe, comforting. How does it feel in the body? How does it feel in the body? Being in this place is comforting, warm. Say, just there for you. What can you taste and smell? Maybe there's a scent of flowers, a scent of salt, a taste of salt. What can you smell and taste?
Yeah, this place, this comforting, safe, it's just there for you. Aware of all the things you can see, the things you can hear, feel, smell, taste. Noticing how it feels in the body when we're in this place. And knowing this place is always there, we can always come to it. Times of difficulty and challenge. There's always this place that we can come to. It's just there for us. It's welcoming and safe. And then just letting go of any images, visualization, sensing. Just coming back to the body and the breath. The body in the chair. And the body just breathing itself, the breath coming and going. I just have nothing to do, just being here. Maybe noticing how it feels when you've done these two practices. So you have a safe place. Does the body feel different? Does the mind feel different? In a sense, letting go. And maybe this attention, just being curious. There's no right or wrong way of feeling. Just being curious about how this leaves you at this moment in time. Just go back to the breath, go back to the body. Body and sensations. And maybe just dropping in a question. What can I do? What one thing can I do this week to nurture myself? What one thing can I do this week to nurture myself? One thing this week can I do to nurture myself? Letting go of the question. Maybe forming an intention. Just doing this thing. Who helped to nurture you during the week? 